my name is Siri Van Gruen. I'm the BC Seed Security Program Coordinator. And right now I'm on Pender Island as part of my Vancouver Island Mobile Seed Cleaner trailer trip tour. So we're going around the province with a trailer full of cleaning equipment, stopping at different farms and community events to allow people to have access to our equipment to bring seeds and clean great for farmers and gardeners, and also to spread the word about this equipment. We're trying to promote it, and we try to have equipment that will work for different types of people. So we try to have smaller equipment that's fine for people with small amounts of seeds and bigger equipment for people with larger amounts of seeds. Pender Island is doing a bean collective, so uh, uh, we've been, luckily our hosts Ben and Roland from High Grove Farms, they were growing out a whole bunch of beans with some other people, part of the Gulf Island Food Co-op. So yeah, for the morning we spent cleaning a lot of the beans that was part of their bean collective that they're doing, and then we had a workshop for seed saving to introduce people to some basic concepts of seed saving and kind of give them the tools to get started. And then afterwards, those same community members were welcome to bring seeds and we're still out in the background cleaning seeds as I speak. It's really excellent. It's such a community event and the folks at High Grow Farm really want to create this into a more community space. So I'm, I'm sure Pender Island will start to have a lot more events like this. And I know Gulf Island Food Co-op, they've got some soil webinars and other things going on, so lots of great things happening here. Saving seeds is super important because seeds are, lead to our food. So nine out of 10 bites of food that we take started with a seed and seeds are increasingly becoming conglomerated in a few big companies and having that kind of can decrease the genetic diversity and what we're really looking to do is preserve the genetic diversity by encouraging seed saving and boosting our seed security as a result. So seed saving, it's important for both, yeah, for feeding our population and maintaining the genetic diversity to be able to adapt to climate change and different problems that may arise in the future. If we have a wide genetic diversity, our plant breeders can select from, create drought resistant crops or things that are better for flooding. So we're better prepared in both a food security sense. You can make a big difference I, my words of encouragement would be don't get discouraged, try again, and experiment. You know, what can go wrong, you know what I mean? If you save seeds and something cross-pollinated, so you get a bit of a funky plant. You tried, you know, and just go into your backyard, take a look around, see what is already kind of gone to flower into seed and just experiment with it. Get out a little magnifying glass look at the seeds under, but I would just say, don't be afraid and it's okay if it goes wrong. We're not doing heart surgery, <laughs> so, <laughs> but all you can do is try. I just wanted to add a thank you to the BC Ministry of Agriculture for funding our mobile seed cleaner and the Vancouver Foundation and all of our other funders that have helped make this tour happen. And yeah, and also if you can check out on our website farmfolkcityfolk.ca, we have a great resources. We have a list of CD Saturdays in your area. We have a list of uh, local seed growers. And if you want to get added on an Evely's list, you can contact us. We usually have forms to fill out. And uh, just we have a great wealth of resource on our website to learn more about our programs.